hello brothers and sisters welcome to my channel <laughs> this is uncle Lenny. if you are new please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment box and give us a thumbs up hey. for this video hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> so you know i know last time i talked about the doctor of our own but today it's a recap i just wanted to find out the experience you know she's studying her doctorate not in america but into one of the islands i want the doctor to tell us the life in an island. You remember, this is our own doctor, Dr. Oda, who is Ghanaian American. The one we have been talking about, our own. I met doctor when she was nine years old. <laughs> but today, I have to make an appointment when I have to go to that practice. <laughs> doctor, you are welcome to my channel. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just first want to use this opportunity to say thank you to Uncle Lenny. I know him as Uncle um, you probably just know him as the Lenny channel or mm -hmm. Uncle Leonard's channel. So I just want to use this opportunity to say thank you for highlighting and taking on the challenge of encouraging others, parents and young adults in your community and in other communities. So to answer the question of how life is like on the island, my goodness, I could write a whole book mm. um, on this topic. but. I'll share a little bit of my experience, okay. which is when I first got to the island, um, I thought it was so beautiful. Okay. You know, it's like when you go to a new vacation spot, right? Yes. I, I mean, I lived my life in Ghana and then life um, in the United States. And I've stayed in Pennsylvania for almost, I believe, 16, 17 years now. So to go to an island is just, it's so beautiful. Mm. You really... Um, get um i say they're spoiled in natural beauty mm. the island has natural beauty. beauty i mean when you see the ocean yes. and how the the just the color blue yes. disintegrates yes. from the surface to mm. the deep mm. it is the most beautiful sight and um i actually had the privilege of sitting um next to the window okay um when i was on the plane on the island and i I, I could not close my eyes and I couldn't stop saying how naturally beautiful mm. the island is. Now, of course, when I landed, the first thing I got was that hot, heat, hot <laughs> island breeze, okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was 80 and beyond. Yes. And I, I was like, my goodness, it is so hot. And um, I left around December, January. So in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, it is cold. Mm. So I had on my sweater, sort of like a hoodie, you yes. know, and I had on sweatpants okay. and tennis shoes. So it was hot. hot, my goodness. And um, I had to be in the line for, a, I, I think I was like the last person actually to leave the airport wow. from my plane. Wow. And so uh, that was my experience at the airport. Now, when I finally um, met my landlord, yes. um, and she took me home, um, God bless her heart, she actually picked me up from the airport and provided me with a good driver, a good van. Um, I was shocked at how the island looked. Okay. Um, to be quite honest, yes. um, it was a little underdeveloped okay. compared to what I had expected. Just okay. because I think we're so used to watching um, things on Instagram and on Facebook about, you know, what island <laughs> life is like, right? Yes. It's not about sipping on coconuts and <laughs> uh, eating pineapples. Yes. It's really realistic. Mm. I got to see the everyday islander. Mm. And they're the most humble yet giving mm. people. And they're very homey in a way that I was not used to. So mm. being here in America, we're told as kids not to accept things from strangers, mm. right? Not to even talk to strangers. Mm. So when I got to the island and um, the wonderful thing is that my parents and I had prayed about going into the house, mm. going into that neighborhood. Um, and so sometimes you have to be careful what you pray for That's because it. God might actually answer. Yes. So when I got there, I got the most amazing welcome mm. from the entire neighborhood. Actually, mm. um, all the landlords are actually women. And, um, you know, these really 
sophisticated women in these really nice homes mm. coming to me <laughs> okay. to gift me fruits. Wow. And I didn't know what to say. I mm. didn't, you know, it, in my culture, it's rude to not accept things from adults. So at least mm. you accept, you yes. know. So I didn't know what to do because I wasn't used to ex uh, the island hospitality, as mm. they would call it. Wow. So that's a little bit about my experience. Um, and life on the island. So now, 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 Doctor, I want to take you back a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I want to know, mm -hmm. I want to take you back from your flight from Miami yeah. to the island. How many mm -hmm. hours? How difficult it is to access that island in case one of mm -hmm. our African brothers and sisters decide to take a route like that you took. Because mm -hmm. one thing I've learned or one thing I've just, uh, uh, one thing I've come across is that mm -hmm. education system here and the education on the other side, it's a little bit different when it comes to the cost, right? So mm -hmm. I'm very sure that this interview, there'll be someone else who's going to take advantage of it to try to find out about information about St. John's. But how is the flight from Miami to St. John's? So St. James. St. James. Mm -hmm, St. James and the Grenadas. So uh, to be quite honest with you the yeah. pandemic has had a tremendous mm. um, effect on traveling mm -hmm. so i did not have a very um good experience in my traveling the first time to the island just because um i had a lot of flight cancellations mm. first of all um which is normal around that time yes um i had to <laughs> Due to those flight cancellations, I had to do a lot of PCR, rapid tests. Mm. So, you know, there were times where I felt like my I, my nose is just going to fall off, mm. you know. Um, you get through delays, mm. um, depending on other travelers who are also traveling on that flight with you. Mm. Um, you can be delayed, you can miss your flight. So mm. what ended up happening to me in Miami is that there was an individual in front of uh, myself and other students that I didn't know at the time were actually students um, in the same medical school as I was going. And um, what happened was there was an individual who was also on that flight with us. Mm. And um, due to their difficulties, it ended up delaying us and we didn't make it on time for mm. our flight. Wow. So um, there was, I had to book a completely different flight, mm. actually. Mm. Um, I was using Caribbean, um, the Caribbean uh, airline, and I had to change to American Airlines, okay. um, get a complete different uh, different ticket. So they gave me the mileage, and um, I got on. I stayed at the airport. Yes, I did um, stay at the airport, and um, I hopped on. And like my parents told me, just get a hotel because there is a hotel in the Miami airport. Yes. However, my flight was like 8 a.m., mm. 8.30 a.m. So I told myself, because of the experience I went through, I don't want to miss this flight. So yes, I'm going to yes, stay yes. here. Actually, yes. I picked a seat right where American Airlines is. Mm, mm. So I was right there. So I was like the first person, mm. first person to to be on that flight to check in to go through the entire process. Um, okay, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so I think to, an I'm sorry, that's to fine, answer that's your fine. second question yes. to anybody who is watching this and also wants to um, move or transition from your education from maybe the US, the UK, Canada, Africa, Asia to the island, I think it's very important to do your research, mm -hmm. okay? So the kind of school that I go to in the Caribbean is considered accredited. Okay. So anytime you hear that word accredited, that means that they have the same curriculum as they would have in the United States, mm. Canada, and the UK. Mm. So which means that if you get an education from a school that's accredited, you can come back to these countries and obtain a job. So the most important thing is to look for that word, accreditation. Mm. Make sure, call to find out that the school has had accreditation mm. and for how long as well, because how long will tell you the reputation of that school with the American system, the European system, and the Canadian system. Well, brothers and sisters, as you can hear, the information, they says information is power. So today we are here to obtain the information from the doctor of our own, just in case one of our own also wants to transition to the island. And some people will be so much asking me, why are you so interested about 
this woman you are following yes i'll follow her until to the world <laughs> because i knew her when she was nine years old and i wanted to make sure that i'm here sitting up here today interviewing this Ghanaian family i was inspired by one guy called by one guy his name is wanda maya in ghana if it wasn't for wanda maya in ghana i wouldn't do what i'm doing right now that's the reason why i have so much interest interest about the Ghanaian family so ghana, ghana is my country so yes. my sister I want, I, professor doctor i want you to tell us have you been in the world in the island how are the hospitals set up in the island i know you came from the united states which is one of the best hospitals and yet i know the islands are not one of the top most but how is the healthcare system in the island so that is a very good question um so I had the opportunity of, um, well, I had the opportunity of seeking internship um, mm. this summer at a Caribbean hospital. I haven't had um, the opportunity yet to um, to basically tour mm -hmm. an exact hospital. However, what I do know about um, the Caribbean hospitals is that there are. Um, there are different um, doctors who are well known for their specialty. So for instance, um, I looked up um, one of their major hospitals there. Mm -hmm. And um, according to the website, it's very advanced. Okay. Almost like looking at a UPMC um, website when you're looking for someone, a doctor who's under a, sp a specific specialty. Mm. So what I did um, was that I wrote down um, the kind of specialty that I want to enter into, mm -hmm. the kind of doctors that I saw, mm -hmm. um, wrote down their, uh, it didn't have their emails, but it had their phone numbers. Mm -hmm. So according to the website of these um, major hospitals, it seems very advanced. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and almost, I would say like the United States, almost very much like a UPMC, Excella Health. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I haven't had the opportunity of actually going into, um, these facilities but mm. i have been to a pharmacy mm -hmm. and very much advanced technology i okay. can tell you that okay um i was very impressed okay um however there is a bit of delay okay um, okay just because we you know things operate in caribbean time mm. right so things are not done in a timely manner however it's done effectively mm. so that is what i can say about the hospitals and clinics at um, in the Caribbean. And I can also tell you that um, due to the kind of schools that they have there, yes. they are very qualified. Oh, wow. Um, very, very qualified. They're board certified, um, either in their system there or mm. they're from abroad. Mm. So most of them have also gone to school here in the US mm. or here in the UK wow. and their doctors back in their home countries. Mm. Mm -hmm. So doctor, I know there are so many doctors. There are maternity <laughs> doctors, there are heart doctors. Why, why, I want you to tell me where, which field are you going to be specializing yourself so that my okay. audience can tell, can know that <laughs> mm -hmm. even a young girl from Ghana who came to America can become a cardiologist. What, 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 are, you what are you studying? So right now in my field of study, yes. um, I haven't reached specialization. Okay. Um, what I'm doing right now is my basic sciences. Okay. So I've been told, um, which could go right or left, okay. that you ought not to have a specialization in mind before going in. Mm. And that's just because you want to be open-minded. That's exactly. You want to experience every single um, specialty. Mm. Um, I want to have the opportunity. I do have a focus. I'm not going to say exactly my focus, but I think you spilled the beans for me, yes. which is cardiology. Okay. But um, I am open-minded mm. now, before I wasn't, but I am open-minded <laughs> about um, exploring other things. Mm. And what you can actually do in medicine is you can have a specialty, mm. but you can also have subspecialties. Mm. So I can be a cardiologist and work in neonates and the elderly. Okay. And that's my subspecialty. Okay. So I'm opening up all the doors in my mind mm. and in my heart to... Go into where God is leading me now. Amen. 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 Yes. 
So brothers and sisters, I just wanted to let you know that our doctor is returning back to the island. When are you returning back again? So it will be very soon. Very soon, okay. <laughs> Which is this Tuesday. Mm. So that is May 3rd. May 3rd. Yes. May 3rd. Yes. So you know, uh, when I heard that she's in town, oh my God, I could not pass this opportunity. I said, <laughs> I just have to sit down with this doctor. While she's in the States, I just need to make sure that I get a footage, I'll follow her, I'll keep on monitoring her because she is an inspiration to so many young ones. She is an inspiration to so many families around in community, and not only in Pittsburgh, but even people that will be seeing this video, maybe in Zambia, maybe in, in Europe. Surely when you put your mind to something, something good will happen. Mm -hmm. And especially when you put in God in it, you see the when you have the presence of God, you can see the manifestation, what mm -hmm. happens, what will be the outcome. This is a good testimony in this family because I have seen, I work with a mother, I've seen this doctor when she was young to be where she is right now. Mm -hmm. It can only be God because this society is very different. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm sure most of her age, they've got maybe three, four kids, but here she is focusing her education. Maybe I'm sure it's that seed which the father said, if you don't focus in your education, do not return in this house. <laughs> Doctor, is there any message that you want to tell my audience before we conclude? <laughs> to say is that um dream big mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're an immigrant like myself yes. and you're coming into the u.s you're going to the uk you're going anywhere in the world dream big mm -hmm. why why am i saying this i'm saying this because you know there is a saying here in america that this is the land of opportunity mm -hmm. right and so don't come to the land of opportunity with a small dream mm. because there's somebody else out there who has a bigger dream. Mm. So come with a big dream. Stick with it. Mm. Work hard every single day towards it. I didn't reach this level um, in one day. Mm. <laughs> you know, I'm 25. I'm going to be 26 in a few months. It's taken me my whole life mm. to get to this level. So I've been working towards this every day single day it starts mm -hmm. with the little steps right mm -hmm. it starts with going to school mm -hmm. being on time mm -hmm. um studying hard right mm -hmm. um graduating the little little steps um i say stick with your routine focus on yourself don't look at what other people are doing mm -hmm. um sometimes it looks like life is going so easy for others mm -hmm. and it seems like sometimes in life it becomes a competition you mm -hmm. know who's marrying who mm -hmm. who's dating who um who's more popular on instagram on facebook mm -hmm. um all these worldly things um are all distractions mm -hmm. and so i will say that you know get grounded in god amen because when you get grounded you realize that all these things mm -hmm. are just a huge distraction Hallelujah. and you can take yourself away from that and mm. focus on the woman of god or the man of god that god wants you to be mm. um so that is the advice that i have for people and also if you do mess up on the way if you end up having a child mm -hmm. um don't let that stop you and that's exactly okay? Don't let that stop you because I go to school with mothers, okay? People who are married, people mm. who have had careers, who have had professions mm. way before coming into medicine. So don't let being a, a married woman, mm. being a mother, being a wife stop you from, be, from your dream. If medicine is what you want to enter into, it's never too late, okay? Mm. That's also another thing about education. It's good to enter early and finish early, mm. but it's also a, a door that's never closing. Mm. As long as you have breath in your lungs, mm. it's never too late. I go to school with the oldest student in my class is a 70-year-old male. Wow. So... Yeah. Keep on, and I tell the mature students in my school all the time, you guys encourage me so, so much. much because you've had your whole life ahead of you, mm. you know, and you left all that to come here, mm. right? Yeah. For me, I just left my parents, yes. right? Yes. But I see how much of a sacrifice others are making and it encourages me. So it's never too late. Keep pursuing your dream. Keep working hard and it's never too late. Wow. 
<laughs> Doctor, thank you so much thank for giving me this so opportunity to, to sit down with me in your very busy schedule just to say, Uncle Lenny, come, we talk. This is more than I can ask for. Brothers and sisters, your association matters. The people that are around you, yes. they will shape up your life. So make sure that you are surrounded with people that will push you to go higher, not the people that will be telling you that you cannot do it. Yes. So the people, our families also matters. Yes, it may not be our families, but our friends. Which church do we belong? It also matters for us to do it better. So I will encourage you to look around. Make sure take an audit about your own life. Is this person worth to keep? Certain people, when they leave you, it's a blessing. As you can see, these people, they live as a family. Everyone I've talked to, the mother, the wife, husband, the, 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 the pastor is saying, I don't have friends. These are my friends. So I'm so encouraged and I've learned so much and I'm sure the knowledge that I've acquired in this house, I'll use it in my own home. <laughs> Amen. So Pastor, it was a, a pleasure sitting down with you. I'll be looking Thank forward so next much. time you come to the States. Thank we have another you. content. Thank I wish you, you God's blessing as you go. Thank in you Jesus' so name. Amen. 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 You guys, like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. Keep on watching. Thank you. We Bye. love you. Bye. <laughs>